Uh, hi, my name is Dr. Darren Flett. I'm working at the Australia Institute for Plant Functional Genomics at the University of Adelaide. And I work on salinity tolerance in a crop called rice. Rice is an important crop worldwide. It feeds uh, billions of people every day. However, it's grown on some soil sometimes that is less than ideal. And one of these problems that it can have is too much salt in the soil. And what this means is that the salt can get into the roots of the plant and get up to the shoot of the plant and do damage to the way the plant grows and how much yield it can put on. So at the ACPFG we work on uh, trying to improve the salinity tolerance of cereal crop species. And what we do is we look for genes that are involved in um, helping the plant tolerate the salt uh, stress better. So we've taken a salt tolerance gene from Arabidopsis, the model plant species, and we expressed it into the outer cells of the roots of rice. And what this does is it essentially filters the salt out of the water that's being moved from the root to the shoot of the rice plant and prevents the salt getting to the shoot where it damages the shoot and decreases the yield of the rice plants. So this is an image of a rice root underneath the fluorescence microscope and what you see are cells marked in red and this uh, shows the cell walls of the rice root and you also see cells marked in green and this is a, a green fluorescent protein that we've transformed into the rice roots. And it's within these cells marked in green that we express the uh, salt tolerance genes from Arabidopsis. What we've done is develop knowledge tools to enable uh, the improvement of salinity tolerance in rice. And this has direct application to areas that are severely salt affected um, from groundwater supplies, etc. But also in regions that have been um, ravaged by tsunamis in recent years, um, where salt water has come from the sea and uh, increased the salinity in these coastal areas that uh, depend on rice as a staple food. Despite the fact that these plants aren't being grown in the field today, uh, they will be in the near future. Uh, and another outcome of this research is that we'll be able to transfer this technology onto wheat and barley which are directly applicable to Australian farmers and will increase their incomes and food security.